Good morning, everyone. We're in the fourth week of Advent. It's Wednesday, December 21st. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we go through life, we experience a lot of things. As On this Advent journey, as things begin to wind down this week, we're called, brought, we're brought more into salvation history and the many people that enter it, as well as those who enter our lives. For the times we are unaware of God working in our lives, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh, may there at last he comes in glory to gain the reward of eternal life through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, and rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree put forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song. Exalt, you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Exalt, you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten-string lyre chant his praises. Sing to him a new song, pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt, you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exult you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield, for in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Exult you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to the reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. <coughs> And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we've had some occasions here in church where um, some of the younger um, ladies in the parish have sung uh, that, that beautiful Hannah Dell's Messiah. Um, and I think for us, it's certainly been a real treat. And, you know, when you stop and think about it, how we go back to the, how people, how their lives turn out, there's some interesting things about Handel. And here's what happened. He was born George Frederick Handel, and at his t when he was born in, uh, he was a German-born composer, and he was the most famous musician of his time. He had great success in writing and staging operas <coughs> in both Germany and Italy. And so he wasn't even 30 years old when he was appointed director of London's Royal Academy of Music. He was a huge man. He had an explosive ego. And in, in a, uh, 25 years, he actually had written 40 lively operas. And, but eventually, you know what happens? P 
people get tired of things, get tired of operas, and turn their uh, other uh, their direction to other things. Well, one after the other then, his operas failed. At the age of 52, he was in debt, he was exhausted, he suffered a stroke, he was paralyzed from it, and he's at the lowest point in his life, get that, the lowest point of his life and career, he was asked to write an oratorio for a charity concert in Dublin. And they paid him very little money. He accepted and he wrote it. One of his friends had written a meditation on the life of Christ. So he kind of got new energy and he came out with, um, in 24 days, he had written his Messiah. He, thought to him, he said that he believed that God had visited him and therefore he was able to do that. He refused the little token of, uh, from the commission and he did it for nothing. It was performed on April 13, 1742 for the first time um, and everybody was thrilled about it. So what he did, um, he wanted to stage it in London and when he did, clergy denounced it. They said it was sacrilege and blasphemy. Can you imagine that? So he decided to give it away again. And this time, he staged an oratorio at a charity concert in London's Foundling Hospital. It was so well received that he started it, staged it again, the next year and the next year and the next year. He did it every year until he died at the age of 74. He would rehearse and conduct the Messiah for the hospital. 25 years after his death, it was finally performed in a church, Westminster Abbey where the clergy had once denounced it, now its popularity grew. The interesting thing was, Handel's greatest work was the one he gave away. You know, for us, God enters human history and he embraced the human condition in all of its messiness, confusion, anxiety. He came into the world to transform our dark nights. And every time you hear the Alleluia Chorus, I think, the Hallelujah Chorus, I think we can remember that it was, you know, after he had been through some of the darkest time in his life, he kind of had a, a, a gift of a resurrection. He once again was renewed in the things he was able to do. So I'd ask you today to remember that, and that, that certainly is, the Hallelujah Chorus is certainly probably one of the greatest ever in history. And you know what? God created us in God's image, and in God's likeness. So you might say we are great as well because we're created in the image and the likeness of God even when things go wrong. God bless. For all those people that use their talents to build a better world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the gift of music, as well as our ability to hear music, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The world is filled with many talented writers for the gift of writers, for the gift of people that direct and entertain, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For young children, that they may be able to discover their talents in this confusing world of ours, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, as we prepare to celebrate his birth, may you watch over us and bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. We please the Lord to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The virgin mother bore him in her womb with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist was his herald and made him known when at last he came. In his love, Christ has filled us with joy as we prepare to celebrate his birth, so that when he comes, he may find us watching in prayer, our hearts full of wonder and praise. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord until, until you, come, you again. come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Harry O'Dell and Joseph Pellegrini, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with you, sir. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty and dedicated service, we may know the abundance of health in mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.